Bringing you the flavor of the Midlands. Live from Columbia, this is Soda City Live. Hey, hey, whoa. Hey, 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 whoa. Well, welcome back to Soda City Live. The South Carolina Philharmonic is gearing up to host the sixth and final concert of their Masterworks series. Titans and Outlaws. Now this concert will feature the SCP Youth Orchestra as a part of their regular tradition with that program. And all of this will take place this weekend. So joining me today is South Carolina Philharmonic Music Director Morihiko Nakahara. So glad to have you back on the show. Thank you for having me again. Yeah. And I apologize, I am out of breath. That's right. <laughs> I am trying to catch my breath. But I'm, I'm so excited because the Masterwork series has been so successful, so amazing. And this is the finale and it's featuring young performers. Yeah, so one of the, you know, one of the things that we're very proud of is our youth orchestra program. And we actually have 190 students who participate wow. in four different levels of orchestras. And for this one, we are featuring sort of what we call side-by-side -side, uh, performance. So we take the 75 students from our top, the flagship youth orchestra, and we literally put them side-by-side -side with our musicians. So sort of, you know, pram kind of thing. So we have for, for the Copeland's Billy the Kid, where the outlaws come from for the theme, uh, we have about 160 musicians on stage. So oh, it's wow. a truly a grand finale. You know, it's, it's, it's a huge sound. We had a rehearsal with all of them last night and everybody was just having such a great time. And you know, it was an incredible experience. And I've read that the students not only get to perform, but they've been in all the rehearsals. And I'm pretty sure that's really exciting for them because I'm sure the South Carolina Philharmonic is a goal. <laughs> yeah, and it's, yeah. It's sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it, you look at some of the sections, especially like in the winds and brass, you know, there's, the students are sitting literally next to their teacher. Wow. In, in some of the cases. So, you know, that's really cool to see, right? You know, it's I like you, you that. see that like in the flute section and so on. So, yeah, it's, it's and then some of them, many of our musicians in the, in the Philharmonic, they actually played in the youth orchestra. Oh, wow. They're like youth orchestra alums. And that's sort of a unique thing here with the South Carolina Philharmonic is that how many of our musicians sort of got their start. They grew up in this area and played in our youth orchestra, you know, went out to college either here at USC or elsewhere, and then maybe they've come back, you know, to the area and then continuing their professional careers. Now, I've read that this is a tradition. How long uh, or how often do the youth get to perform with the professionals? We do it, uh, we try to do it like a, once every other season. In the, it's typically for either in February or April, this uh, season finale. And But this is the first one we've, we've been able to do since the pandemic. So, you know, we haven't wow. done it since like in four years or so since before the pandemic. So it's kind of special from that, you know, in that sense too, to, to be able to do this again with, with this massive, you know, this massive orchestra on Cougar stage. This is a really big deal. Now, how many songs will they be performing? So they will be playing in the first half of the program. And so it's the Billy the Kid yeah. Suite by Copeland. And that's about a, like a, it's a fairly, uh, you know, su uh, substantial piece of music. It's right. like 22 minutes mm -hmm. or so. So we'll feature sort of the side by side in the first half. And then in the second half, we'll play Gustav Mahler's uh, Symphony No. 1, which was a subtitle Titan. So that's where the Titans uh, aspect of our theme comes from. And that's, that's with the Philharmonic, but that's also a huge orchestra. So right. there are like 85 right. plus musicians on stage for that too. So it's a, it's a, you know, it's a like, we'll blow the roof off, you know, right. basically. So just to be yeah. clear, the students are only going to be in that first, first half? half. Okay, yeah. perfect. Well, tell us the details about what we can expect. Well, not expect this weekend, but the time. Sure. Yeah. So this concert we've been talking about is Saturday night uh, at 7:30 p.m. at the Cougar Center, and I'm sure you can find the, the information uh, uh, through our website. It's great, uh, scphilharmonic.com. Uh, youth orchestras, actually, they have their own concert, so our kids okay. are very busy. So on Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock is where we feature all of our four, uh, I mentioned like 190 students, so wow. four, four youth orchestras, it's their big uh, season finale for them as well. So oh, wow. very busy for, for those students who are playing with us on Side by Side Saturday and also their own concert on Sunday as well. I love it. So we'll make sure that we have the details for the, the students, their performance on Sunday on our website as well. But you're taking a look here on the screen for the details for this weekend, those ticket prices there as well. But we'll make sure we have all these details on our website, sodacitylive.com. Morhiko, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. And good luck with the finale. I know it's yeah. going to be amazing. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Stick with us. We have much more Soda City Live coming up after the break. I want...